All right, greetings out there in YouTube land. Long time no see. So um, it's been a while since I've uh, done a Shuttle Wars segment, and uh, there's a reason for that, and um, actually a couple reasons. One reason is because I had some small uh, projects on my workbench, and I've been trying to clear them out with only partial success. Um, another reason is I've been laying out the thermal blanket uh, pattern on this orbiter with um, some evergreen styrene strip. Now, I mentioned this in the last video. This is simply 010 by 020 uh, inch styrene strip or 0.25 by 0.5 millimeter strip. And it comes in the package with 10 strips uh, each. And uh, like I said before, the plan is to lay out all these thermal blankets, sand them down a bit, uh, apply a paste mixture of squadron putty, and then um, texture it with an armor zimmer tool to give the appearance of textured thermal blankets and we'll see if this works out for us. So I've got uh, the tail done here and that's looking pretty good. Now this is not exactly what you see in pictures of the shuttle if you look close up but it's generally representative and it's going to be you know, pretty much close enough for us and uh, for me at least. And then um, I've got the blankets laid out on the port side of the orbiter here and along the wing and on the tail and on the starboard side except for I don't have the wing done here yet and what you see here in black is nothing more than photocopies of uh, the decals for the tiles I'm going to use up here and I'm using those as a placement guide as I put down my my strip styrene so what I'm going to do now is just keep right on going and try to finish this out. I'll probably have a couple, three more hours work to do this uh, this other wing. And then I'll move on to putting on the beanie cap uh, on the nose. I'd, already, I'd actually already put it on once, but I wasn't happy with what I was getting. And so I pulled it off again, and uh, I'll put that back on and clean up my seams and uh, do the thermal blanket pattern around the tiles on the beanie cap and the nose area. And uh, then once that's all done, uh, then we'll put on our, our uh, our paste mix, mix of uh, squadron putty and uh, try to texture it and see see how it works out. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, what you hear there is my two Boston Terriers. You may remember I had a dachshund, an ugly dabble dachshund, way back a couple years ago when we started this project. Well, he passed away, had a big tumor in his intestines and stomach area. He was a good old dog, and uh, we waited for about eight months or so, and then we decided to get another dog, and then we decided to get two, and we have two Boston Terrors now, and I'll show you a video of them, video of them later, but they're hanging out up here with me right now, and they just thought they heard a noise, so that was them barking. another noise. I have to go check it out. My wife might be home, although I didn't hear the garage door open. Alright, you guys want to go check it out? See if there's anything there? Alright, let's go. So this is Duke. Okay. Here's our big boy. And there's little sister Daisy and they are constantly getting into trouble and having a good time 
Yes, I see you. I see you. I know, I know, I know. You've been all cute and everything. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's come down and see what it's like. Oh, my goodness. That's what they like to do. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I thought. Yes, I see, I see, I see. Oh. Hey, Daisy. Alrighty. That's said enough? What was that? No, 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 no more kisses. Okay. Hey, girl. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? I see you. How about this? Woof. <laughs> it's all on in, isn't it? Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, you know, girl. Alright, so now you've met Duke and Daisy, and uh, you can see what a handful they are. Now, getting a bunch of slobbery kisses is not really my idea of fun, but you know, you know how dogs are, that's what they, what they do. One of the challenges here is uh, trying to be consistent from side to side with the measurement of these panels. They don't have to be perfect, but they got to be you know, kind of close. So it takes a little bit of effort. Now I'm using a combination of uh, Tamiya Extra Thin and uh, some very, very thin super glue on this. And there are some areas here that um, have putty, and I'm trying to put this tape or this um, the styrene strip down every putty, and um, that doesn't work too good with just uh, styrene glue. So I have to use something different, and the super glue does the trick. Alright, so what I've got here is all the thermal blanket insulation pattern laid out on the wings on both sides of the fuselage. And of course, the tail. And uh, I've got the beanie cap installed here. And I've used epoxy to put this down with. And now I'm going to have to go back and sand this and uh, putty it up and then lay out the thermal blankets on the nose area.